Hey everyone, it's Asia Dang, and today we are doing a no makeup makeup look. For me, what I love about this look is that it took me 10 minutes, so it's perfect for school, it's perfect for work. For me, this is my everyday look. There is a giveaway at the end of the video, so stay tuned. I know I haven't done a makeup tutorial on my channel in a really, really long time, so if you want me to do more makeup tutorials on my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and let me know in the comments what kind of videos you would love to see from me. So if you wanna see how I achieved this look, stay tuned. So I washed my face, moisturized, put on sunscreen, but because this is a no makeup makeup look, the emphasis is going to be on the skin. You want the skin looking flawless. So on top of that, I'm going to apply some photo finish primer from Smashbox. I normally don't wear this product, but today we're gonna put it on since my skin is struggling. I don't think you can tell right now because the lighting here is the bomb, but I need all the help I can get. So today what I'm going to use is this Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish foundation. What I really like about this product is that you can control the amount of coverage that you wanna have on your face. If you hang tight to the very end of the video, there is going to be a giveaway of this foundation stick from Hourglass, so stay tuned. There's gonna be two winners, so worth the wait, worth the wait. All you need is just like a couple swipes on the cheeks, got some on the forehead. I'm gonna add, I have a lot of redness around my nose area on the nose and then on the chin. The cool thing about this foundation stick is that it actually comes with this, its own brush. And the cool thing about this, I don't know if you can tell, but it's tapered. So it fits into all the crevices in your face, under your eyes, around your nose. And all you have to do is circle it up. And the brush is really soft too. So as you can see on this side, is where I've applied the foundation. I still have my marks over there. But for me, I really like light coverage foundation and I think if you're going for a no makeup makeup look, that's what you want to strive for. And this works perfectly for me. It doesn't even feel like I'm wearing foundation. So if you're like me, I'd recommend giving this guy a shot. Even if you're not, it goes full coverage as well. Now since I have these in a lighter and darker color, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this beige just under my eyes a little. And then I'm gonna use this as a base for the eyelids. So I'll probably go over this area, the under eye area with my concealer, but this has some reason just become a habit to me. I think it's because I like the way this foundation stick feels. The formula is really soft. Let's do the brows. The brows, my friends, is gonna take me a little while. I just, this is, to me, is the hardest part of getting ready is doing the brows. I'm using the Kevin Aquan Precision Brow Pencil. Remember, we're going for a super natural, no makeup makeup look. I would just fill in the sparse areas. Okay, the brows are as good as they're gonna get, people. Sorry. Next, uh, we're gonna work on the eyes. I think it's time to get a new one. <laughs> what do you think? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tight line my upper lashes. And this is just gonna make my lashes, my lash line look more full. So we're going on the waterline of the upper lash. And then for me, it's actually pretty difficult to draw along my lash line on the top lash. So what I do is I kind of just do dashes instead of one continuous line. And then I take an angled brush and just kind of smudge it out. So it's still as close to the lash line as it can be, but it's not and dramatic. And then there is some residual eyeliner on the bottom lash line, and that's totally okay. I'm not gonna add any more product. Just gonna use the same angled brush and just blend it out as well. So still natural, not too much going on, but there's still definition. I'm gonna take my bronzer and just put it in the crease of my eye. Again, to add more definition. And finally, to finish the eyes, I'm going to add some shimmer shimmer on the inner corners to make sure that my eyes look wide and bright. And I'm just gonna take my pinky, swirl it into the color I use to do the inner corners, and just tap it on the middle, in the middle of my eyelid. Next, for the cheeks, I'm gonna take my bronzer again, swirly swirly, suck in the cheeks and bronze. Cheeks, just where the sun will hit you, on the top of your forehead, and then remember the chin area, people. 
So next is blush, and because this is a natural look, you want it to be similar, a similar color to how you would look flush, like after a workout. So since I don't really know what color that is for me, I'm just gonna pinch my cheeks a little to get that color out, and it seems like it's more of a pink versus like a peach. I brought two colors. This one's shimmery and this one's more matte, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this from NYX, the Ombre Blush. Smile. Highlight, gonna just go in with my fingers. Swirl it, this is the same color I used for the inner corners and the eye, and just tap it. And then under the brow bone. Now I want the highlighter to be really natural looking. I don't want people up in space to see my highlight glow. So I'm just gonna do this really lightly. And I always love to put highlighter here. It makes my lips look bigger and juicier. And then finally for the lips, I love this like chapstick lip gloss color from Fresh. This is too pigmented for the natural look that I want to go for right now, so I'm just gonna take my finger again and dab some on my finger and just tap it on. You can also go with a nude, nude lip, but for me, when I apply nude lip and I don't have a lot of makeup on, it makes me kind of look dead, and no one wants that. So this, I'm going for like the bitten look, like someone just bit your lips. And finally, mascara. Um, for me, my eyelashes don't hold a curl too well, so this is just being done by habit, honestly. I am applying it to both the top and the bottom. You know what I just realized is I didn't even put concealer on. <laughs> That's how good these foundation sticks are. If you get them in multiple colors, then you can use them not only as foundation, but also a concealer. Oh well. I just washed my hair today, so I really love the feeling of second day hair because this is just too silky and too soft and there's not enough texture in it for me. So I'm gonna use this volumizing spray, which the purpose of this spray is to make you feel, make your hair feel like second day hair. And how I do it is I grab the front hair and then I kind of, as I spray, let loose. All right, everyone, we are done. This is my no makeup makeup look. It took me like, five, 10 minutes, so this is perfect for work, this is perfect for school. For me, this is kind of just like my everyday go-to look. If you're interested in winning some Hourglass Vanish foundation sticks, all you have to do is in the description box, there is a Google form, so you don't have to be on Instagram, you don't have to be on Snapchat or Twitter. Go to the Google form, fill out the form, press send, and I will be choosing two winners at random who are going to win these foundation sticks. All the information for the giveaway as well as the products that I used in this tutorial are going to be in the description box. And I'll be personally contacting the winners, two of them, so make sure all your information is up to date. All right, everyone, that's it for my tutorial. This is my no makeup makeup look. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time. Thank you so much. Bye.